What up, y'all? Um, I'm gonna just be talking about McDonald's today. And before I get this video started, I would just like to say that I wanted to post some 2K19 gameplay, but then I realized I suck and I refuse to post a video on 2K19 with my player playing like ass. And it, it, it's just gonna piss me off. Even look, Loki 2K are being is, is being some hoes because my three point shot all the way up, my mid range shot all the way up. But how the fuck am I missing a wide open mid range? That's not making sense to me. But you know, whatever. That's not what I'm here to talk about today. T today I'm here to talk about McDonald's, a coworker, and some things that I did at McDonald's. I'll get right at y'all. So, you know, first, let's get it started off with some lighthearted stuff. At McDonald's, I was bored. I, I wasn't really bored. I was more so hungry because I haven't eaten that day. I didn't get a break. And I was about to leave. So, I was like, let me grab two McRiddle thingies. And then, let me grab a McChicken. And let me put that, put that together because that's going to taste like chicken and waffles. Because, you know, the McRiddle things, that them bitches slept. It's, it's like a little pancake with syrup in it. My hoes go hard as fuck. So I did that bullshit. Like, it didn't taste bad, but it's not what I was expecting. So I was disappointed when when, when I bit into it. And it, it made me feel like it was ass in the moment. But thinking back on it, it wasn't that bad. It was just that it didn't meet the standards that I set for it for some reason. And... If y'all watching this and y'all considering doing this, don't. It's, it's a waste of your time. If you ever thought about getting a chicken patty in between two McGriddles, it don't taste like chicken and waffles. It's not what you think. Don't do not do that. Next, let's talk about the thing that pisses me off at McDonald's. And lately, it's been one of my co-workers. He's new. And I'm all for new people, training new people so that they, you know, just so they can get good. We got extra people to help. It's, for the most part, it's a good thing. But this dude comes in, he doesn't do shit. He just stays looking at the clock and or, or, or he'll walk around and shit. Pretend like he about to look at something and do shit. And then not do nothing. Like one of the things that pissed me off the last time I was at work, I was at work. He kept walk. I was in grill, and in grill, we got these cabinets. It, they not really cabinets, but it's like little drawer mini things that you pull out to get get the food that you're about to use and make. So he keep pulling out these drawers, like like he about to uh, look at the food that we need and replace it or whatever. He walks over there, pulls out the drawer. Pulls out the nugget drawer. Let me be specific. Pulls out the nugget drawer. There's nothing in the nugget drawer. Neither one of them. Because we have two. He opens them. Closes it. I'm, I'm thinking, okay, he about to go drop some nuggets. He walk over there by the freezer to go grab some nuggets. And it's about two minutes ago. I'm like, damn, there's still no nuggets down. I look over there. He's just standing there in front of the freezer. So if somebody did want to drop some nuggets, they can't because he's standing in the way. I'm like... What what kind of shit is this? What kind of why why are you so stupid? Why are you so so just uh, oblivious to what we need? That you look at what we need, ignore that shit, and just go stand in the general area of what we need, and then don't do shit. Then we had to ask this dude about two three different times just to drop some fucking nuggets. It's like, first of all, this isn't shit that we should be having to tell you if you've been working here for a month. Like, I can almost understand if it's like your first week, but at the end of the day, you looked at that shit, saw that, you saw that it was nothing in there, and you decided, hey, I'm gonna go stand by that freezer. And that's it, and I do nothing. I don't, I don't understand. I, what bothers me? more than someone who does a poor job at work is someone who's not motivated to do to do like the basics of their job at work at the end of the day you're on the clock you're getting paid even if you don't like this shit you still have to do this shit because you are getting paid 
So, for you to just sit there and blatantly ignore what we need after you, you were the one who took notice of what we need and just said, fuck it. That's retarded to me. Like, you need, you need to go home. If you don't want to work, don't come to work. Don't apply for a job. It's like, honestly, if you come to work and you doing that bullshit, it's something, it, it, it's something wrong with your priorities. Because if you feel like this is a waste of your time, don't be here wasting other people's time. That shit is so annoying to me. I cannot stress it enough. Like, I want to go into work and be confident that the people there are going to help us succeed that day at work so that work isn't too stressful. But when people are on bullshit, it's just making work harder than it needs to be. That shit sucks because now everyone's stressed. And he doesn't know how to do shit either. I had to show this dude how to wash the dishes and then even after I showed him how to wash the dishes, he didn't wash the dishes. Who needs to be shown how to wash dishes? And then even after you asked me how to wash it, why did you ask me to wash why did you ask me to teach you how to wash the dishes, but then you don't do it? You just wasted my fucking time. I could have been doing something else. I could have been helping out on grill, making sure shit is running smoothly. But you, you're you asking me to show you who doesn't know how to wash dishes. That's some of the most basic at-home skills that you learn. Like, just, just from being home. Like, have you never washed dishes before? And I don't think he like no spoon fed type, silver spoon type dude. It's just like, oh, I don't know. I'm just getting mad. Whatever. Fuck with the video. Fuck with the music. Uh, check me out. Subscribe. Leave a like. Comment. Follow me on Twitter. All that bullshit. See y'all later.